Yes, praise the Lord. Kama yebazwe. Praise the Lord. Kama yebazwe. Are you in the house? Tuli mu nyumba. <laughs> we bless the Lord. Tuibaze mkama. I just I wanted us to read this psalm together. Ya tusome zaburi yenu finna. Uh, psalm 29. Zaburi ya bidi mu mwenda. If you don't mind you I request you to rise up on your feet and we just read this psalm. Bobato china mukabinsa bo yimye kubigere byo. It has been my psalm this this day. Eva disabuli yango nakurura lero. Psalm 29 from verse 1. Zaburi ya bidi mu mwenda kutaya kulinya olusoka. To verse yeah, 11. Just we are going to read very fast. If we can read in English. Tukena somo luzungu fenna. They have delayed uh, NIV says ascribe to the Lord Oh mighty ones. Mwe mukama mwa abana babazira. Ascribe to the Lord the glory and strength. Mwe mukama ekitiwa na amanyi. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due to his name. Mwe mukama ekitiwa erinyalie. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. Hey, I've left you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let us begin verse 1 together. 1 2 3 we go. Ascribe, Ascribe to the Lord, Lord O oh mighty ones. ones. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord thunders over the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks in pieces the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf. Sirion like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord strikes with flashes of lightning. The voice of the Lord shakes the desert. The Lord shakes the desert of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord twists the ox and strips the forest bare. And in his temple all cry glory. In his temple what happens? All cry glory. Uh-huh. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. Verse 11. The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. Praise the Lord. Come here as we. Lord, we want to thank you that Lord, your voice speaks, your voice breaks, oh God. The the cedar solo, the ox or king of glory. This evening we've gathered in this place to hear that voice that breaks, oh Lord, ox or oh Lord. That thunders over the waters. Lord, even as so oh Lord we've gathered in this place this evening. May your voice, oh Lord, thunder over the waters over the waves that have been surrounding us oh lord lord we want to pray that lord jesus let your voice come out clearly lord even as i speak oh lord your word this evening i pray that lord jesus may you help me oh god that lord i will release your word that your voice will be heard today to the bone marrow so king of glory deep inside us oh lord jesus may your voice be heard oh lord jesus We pray that Lord Jesus all other voices will be silenced oh Lord all other lies of the enemies of God saying the year is ending and you have not achieved the plans your plans father we want to say no to that oh king of glory we still believe that Lord you are able to do exceedingly abundantly beyond what we can think or even imagine Lord will you come forth Lord Jesus and speak to us this evening Lord we want to glorify your name Even as your word says that in your temple all cry out glory to your name Lord Jesus we want to cry out this evening glory honor power majesty Lord all belong to you Father we bless your name in Jesus name Praise the Lord you can take up your seats kama yewe sio sio kutula ko Yes we have something like 30 minutes to share tunede chikanga sato gabana the word of the lord chigambo cha mukama mukama yebazwe praise the lord extend a hand of fellowship to your neighbor praise the lord 
Yes, I want to thank God for the opportunity he has given me today to share his word. I bless the Lord. We are going to read from the book of First Samuel chapter 14 from verse 1 up to verse uh, 18. Uh, I think he can read in Luganda. First Samuel chapter 14 from verse 1 to verse 18. Samuel chisoka kuminanya olusoka pa kuminamunana. Aor nakurali lumu, yonasani mutabani wa saulo, nagambo mulenzi ea tuwalanga, ebyo kurani sabi. Ntijangu tusomoke tugeende elie chigo, ichaba filisuti, echiri emitala weri. Na ena atabuli la chitawe, Oroko vidi. Saulo na vera mo chitundo eche jibeya eche nkomere eche nkomere romunda wo wo mukoma mwanga ogole miguroni na vantu avali na ye avasaji ava na ye avali avasaji anga lukaga ne aki ya matavani wa aki tubu muganda wa ikabodi matavani wa fina kansi matavani wa eri kavana wa mukama mosiri unga yamba dekanzu avantu ne vata manya gayona sani agenzi au wakati Awakati awaitiwa Yonasani we yali ayagala okufuma okutuka mu kigo kya Bafilisuti waliwe jinje songo vu eruyi ne jinje songo vu eruyi ne elimu elinyali alyo bonezi ne dala elinyali alyo sene e jinje elimu lyali limiride kuruyo lobuchiko obwakono okolekera mikumasi ne dala kuruyo lobuchiko bwadyo okolekera geba awo Yonasani Nagamba omulenzi ya tuwala ngebiyo kuluwa nyi sabienti, jangu tusomoke tugendia liye chigochi haba taliba kumuliba no. Mpozi mukama anato kolera omulimu. Wanga mukama tuwali chimuziiza okuloko la nabanji oba nabatono. Olomu sambu. Ya tuwala ngebiyo kuluwa nyi sabienti, na mugama anti kolabi onevili mumutima gumu. Chuka laba zendi wamu nawe mgo mutima gumu guli. Awo yonasani na yogera ntilaba. Tuna asomo kanda tugenda elaba saji. Eri abasajja ne tweyerula jebali bwe bana atugamba anti mubere eyo okutusa tunajja je muri awo tunayimirira buyimirizi mu kifo kya fe ne tutayambuka jebali naye bana ayogera anti mujeje tuli awo tunayambuka kubanga mukama abagabude mu mukono gwa fe era ko kekana abera akabonero je tuli Awo bombi ne beyerula eliye chiko chaba filisuti aba filisuti ne bogera ntiraba abe bulania bafuruma mubunya mwe bali be kwese abasajja bo muchigo ne badda mu yonasani noyi ya noyi ya twala ngabyo kulonsa byenti ebyo kulonsa bye ne bogera nti muamukeje tuli tubalage ekigambo ayo nasani nagamba ya twala ngabyo kulonsa byenti yambuka ongobereri kubanga mukama Abagabu demo mukono gua gua isi daili. Aiona sani nari nia nga nga yafula ne nga rone bigere ne yatwa lange biokuwa nisabie nga mukoberera ne bagua mumaso gani aiona sani ne yatwa lange biokuwa nisabie na bata o kumuva kwa enyuma. Oroko mene nia era oruta oro oro rubere rubere aiona sani. Ne ya tuwala ngebiyo kuna nisabie Uwe yata luwali Luwa basajia ngama kumi ya habili Nebanga liyali nga chitundu chia rubimbi Mumesiri gwetaka Ne wabawo uluka Ne wabawo okukanka na muru sisila Nemu nimiro nemu bantubo na Abomo chigo Naba kwe kwezi neba kankana nabo Nesi ne kankana Awo ne wabawo okukanka na kunene nyo Naba kumi basauro Abale jibeya Echia Benjamin ni nevata nula, nevata nula, au raba, echiwina, nechi sereba, nechi genda erui na erui. Rekumi na msaamu, au yana, au sauro, na gamba bantu wali na yenti, mubale kaka no, muda we, bwali atufudemo, au weba bala, la ba yana sani, ni yatoa rangi biokuwa nisabie, ngati bali yuo. Sauro na na gamba akia, ntireta eno esando kwa katonda. Kubange sandu kaya katonda yaliye yomu bilevyo wamuna vanabaisi ya hili. Amen. 
Thanks be to the Lord. Yes, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, uh, I'm going to be sharing with you on a subject I've called stepping out our faith, our faith. Stepping out our faith. Stepping out your faith in a demoralizing situation. In a complicated situation. A complex situation. In a hopeless situation. Praise the Lord. We have just heard about this young man called Jonathan. How he left the camp. Where his father and the rest of the soldiers were gathered. He decided to leave with his armor bearer. He did not tell his father. He did not tell anyone. But he made a decision to go to face the Philistines. Praise the Lord. How many of them? Two. Two of them. They went towards the camp where the Philistines were. Praise the Lord. And the Bible tells us that between where Saul and his army or the group was uh, camped, and where the, uh, the Philistines were, there was a cliff. Actually, there were two. The one was called Bozes. And then the other one was called Sene. And as you read, when you, when, when you check the Hebrew, uh, the, the meaning of those two words, Bozes means slippery. Bozes means slippery. And then Sene means sharp or pointed. So there was this cliff separating the two armies or the two camps. But that did not stop Jonathan from pursuing. So they went ahead climbing. Actually, somewhere, when you, as you continue reading, you realize that the Bible says they were climbing, use, Jonathan was climbing the cliff using his hands and feet. Praise, Praise the Lord. And there were powerful statements that Jonathan kept on making. One of those powerful statements was actually that the Lord, nothing can hinder the Lord from saving by few or many. Praise the Lord. The other crazy thing that they did was to show themselves to the enemies. Let us go and show ourselves to the enemy. Praise the Lord. That was quite funny. Any other person fighting or any other army, they would actually try as much as possible to hide from the enemy. But Jonathan tells his armor bearer and says, Let us go and show ourselves to them. If they say, Don't come, we shall take our ground. We shall not run away, but take our what? Our ground. Actually, other versions say, we shall take our ground. Not that if they say, don't come, we shall run away. Praise Praise the, Lord. the other option they gave was, if they tell us to come, or to go to them, we shall go. 
And that will be a sure sign to us that the Lord has given them to us. Praise that. That was quite crazy. If you tell me to remain, I will take my crown. I will not run away. Did you hear a word like that? That in case they tell us to come, I mean to stay there, we shall run away. Praise the Lord. Then if they say, come, we shall surely go. And that will be a clear sign that the Lord has given them to us. Praise the Lord. The number of things, the number of lessons I want to I want us to draw from this whole the scriptures. Jonathan, Jonathan took a decision. He took a step of faith. When his father saw and the rest of the 600 has been reading were terrified and they had camped he decided to leave the camp he decided to leave the status quo he took a radical decision as a person and I think God guided him so well to pick on the armor bearer. The man who encouraged actually him. Praise the Lord. So they went their way. And what was the result? The Lord looked at the faith they had. And he was they were able to win the battle. Praise the Lord. Now, before this happened, when you read earlier verses in chapter actually chapter 13, maybe King Saul had a reason as to why he feared. Because when you read the, uh, chapter 13, verse 19, this battle took place. The battle took place at a time when there was casting in weapons in the land of Israel. Because actually verse 19 of chapter 13 says, not a blacksmith could be found in the whole, of, the whole land of Israel. Because the Philistines had said, otherwise the Hebrews will make swords or spears. So all Israel went down to the Philistines to have their uh, plus share, uh, shares, matoks, axes, and sickles sharpened. The price was two thirds of a shekel for sharpening plowshares and mattocks. Verse 21. So on the day of the battle, not a soldier with a soul and Jonathan had a sword or spear. In his hand. On the soul and his son Jonathan had them. Praise the Lord. Now, Jonathan sees the entire camp or the entire army having only two swords. But it takes up, it takes a step of faith. He breaks the status quo and says, I'm going to face the Philistines. Two swords. One was with King Saul himself. Then the other one was with Jonathan. But he decides to face the Philistines. He did not look at the number. First of all, they were actually outnumbered. In terms of numbers, two people to face an army. 
Praise the Lord. That calls for faith. Faith in God. And moving faith. Not just strong faith, but moving faith. The faith that just boils in you. Makes you to take a decision. Even when you are you actually you are limited. Faith that makes you take a decision. Even when you know very well that you don't have enough resources. No wonder Jonathan made a statement. Nothing can hinder God from saving by many or by few. Nothing can hinder God from saving by limited by little resources. First of all, he is not limited by anything. Our God is not outnumbered. Praise the Lord. I hope I'm communicating something. So the battle took place at a time when there was casting in weapons in the of Israel. But that did not hinder Jonathan from taking a decision. He says no. Let us go and face the Philistines. And at a certain point actually describes them properly. He says the uncircumcised what? Uncircumcised Philistines. He knew his identity in God. He knew very well that these people had no covenant relationship. He knew that he had a covenant relationship. Praise the Lord. As the year is coming to an end, sometimes the enemy can come and speak all lies to you. You planned this, you planned the other. And today is, is 4th December. And when you look back, you really see your list, maybe just a few things done. Praise the Lord. I want to encourage you this evening. Nothing can hinder the Lord from performing a miracle. Either within the few days remaining, because sometimes when we look back and look at the 11 months have gone, and you are now counting, you few days left do you think the Lord can do this if God could save Israel praise the Lord just because of the faith of these two men first in Jonathan and then he convinced actually that he is Amabear and he that the whole of Israel was saved praise God Amen Amen then when you look at the camper actual verse is it verse 2 says verse 2 actually Saul was staying on the outskirts of Jibeah in Migron with him were about 600 men they were sitting meanwhile Jonathan was moving the others were seated these two took a decision praise the Lord he had 600 men and there are two actually there are around three who are described here actually two among whom was Ahijah uh, who was wearing an ephod he was a son of Ichabod Ichabod's brother praise the Lord I tried to check for the meaning of uh, some of and what happened to Ahijah and I realized that he was one of those rejected priesthood of Eli then number two, Ichabod. Ichabod. That name means the glory has departed. Now, that was the company where so, uh, that, that Saul had actually. They rejected it, uh, priests. 
and even names like the glory has departed and i think maybe one of the reasons as to why uh, jonathan did not consult his father of course one is obvious that the father would definitely say don't go but maybe also god revealed to him the kind of the company that the father had and maybe he read this the glory has departed and i believe that could have compelled him to just leave the company i cannot continue in this company I need to move away and pursue what God wants me to pursue. Praise the Lord. The number of lessons that we are going to be drawing from this. What kind of company and friends do you have? When we read about this Amabera he moved closely with Jonathan he was ready to die at a certain point he even said I'm with you in heart and soul I'm ready to move with you to pursue this I'm ready to go with you to pursue these Philistines to your friends the friends you have encourage you as you are pursuing your vision do they ignite your faith or they make your faith static or they are the kind that kill your faith praise the Lord brethren we need friends who ignite our faith even when we are under pressure when we are in a hopeless situation praise the Lord that they will encourage you one who can say Geoffrey I'm with you continue pursuing this vision the Lord is going to provide not those who will tell you Geoffrey do you know what I think you are making a mistake. You are making a mistake. God is not going to help you. Praise the Lord. Let us look at the, uh, the lesson. Some of the lessons have written down here. One, like I said, the battle was won during the time of scarcity of weapons. But that did not limit Jonathan and his they took a step of faith and they were able to win. Praise the Lord. Number two, Jonathan did not seek approval from his father. Verse number three. Jonathan did not seek approval from his father. seek approval from the commander in chief. Only one word from God was enough to drive him into this decision. Praise God. We need to seek God. We need to cling on him. One word from him is better than thousands of words from from others. Praise the Lord. He did not seek approval from the Father. I believe he heard from God. God Go for it. Go for it. And he did not disappoint the Lord. He went for it. Praise the Lord. The other one I've already also said that. Uh, he broke out of the status quo yeah. the right procedures seeking for permission to go and fight maybe i believe that maybe it was the father to give permission that now you can go he got out of that and was able to face praise the lord he was led of God to choose his friend. His armor bearer. 
Members, do you think it was by mistake that this Amabero became his Amabero? The man who kept on telling him, please go for it. I'm ready. I'm with you in heart and soul. I don't think that was by mistake. I believe God did it for him. Praise the Lord. The other thing is they had obstacles by the way. The cliff was an obstacle. It was a serious obstacle. Climbing the cliff. Just imagine your enemies are on the mountain. And you are down here climbing. Face them. They had that as a hindrance. But they were not limited by the obstacles. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. They were not limited by anything. They were not limited by the terrain. They were not limited by the numbers. They were outnumbered. Jonathan and his friend. But the other one was a whole army. But they did not look at that. One thing I believe they had in their mind. That when God is with you. When God is in the picture. When God is with you. The number does not matter. Numbers don't count. All I need is a word from him. All I need is to stick to him. To face that giant. To face that challenge. All God wants me to do is exercise my faith. Either sometimes we think that uh, maybe uh, exercising our faith is only in maybe in small, small things. God wants us for God to perform that miracle. He's also looking at the faith you have in him. You trust him anyway. Praise the Lord. God wants us to step out our faith even in a complex situation. Where you are saying God I've heard your voice. I'm going to take a step of faith. Praise the Lord. Just imagine Jonathan climbing the cliff using his hand and uh, and feet. I don't know who was holding. I believe it was the Amabear actually who was holding the sword. But using his hand and his feet. Meaning that by that time Jonathan and his Amabear were basically defenseless. They were seriously disadvantaged. But that did not hinder them. One thing they were focusing on, they were focusing on God. Climbing. But focusing on who? On God. Praise the Lord. May God help us. That even as we cross over to 2020, 20, 2020, we shall climb 2020 in faith. I will enter 2020 in faith. Whether climbing using my leg and my hands. The things I have not been able to achieve this time. I strongly believe that I'm going to attain this. Praise the Lord. So Jonathan knew that he was outnumbered. But he also knew that when God is in the picture, numbers don't matter. He can save by few, by many. Nothing can hinder him. He can save by limited resources. He can bless you by limited qualifications. He can promote you by limited qualifications. And he can also promote you with several qualifications. Nothing can hinder our God from blessing 
He can bless within a few days. He can still bless within the whole year. All I need is to focus on him. All he desires from me is to take a step of faith. Just imagine if the two hadn't taken up a step of faith. What do you think would have happened? So nothing can hinder our God from blessing either by few or by many. He can do it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. The other thing that I also want to say is that if the kind of friends you are currently having are not taking you anywhere, I've already said that. They are not the kind. Who that can ignite your faith. All you need to do is to just drop them. Abandon them. I'm not saying hate them. Jonathan abandoned. Jonathan abandoned the camp of the father and decided to take a parallel direction and God said amen I'm going to perform I'm going to cause panic in the camp of the enemy because of the faith I've seen in you and surely the Lord was able to cause panic at the camp of the enemy there was panic in the camp of the Philistines. And by the way, when King Saul and the rest of the people saw that there was panic, they actually came back. They came. Let us read uh, which verse is that? Um, okay, verse 15. Then panic struck the whole army, those in the camp and field, and those in the out, uh, outposts and raiding parties. And the ground shook. It was as if the faith these people, Jonathan, had connected to heaven. And there was an eruption. There was an earthquake at the camp of the enemy. My brother, my sister, you may not know what your faith in God can do. Praise the Lord. No wonder the Bible says that without faith it is impossible to please the Lord. And that with faith everything is possible. God can use the faith you have to break chains, to set chains loose. There was great panic. And the Bible says that the ground shook. It was a panic sent by who? The Bible says it was a panic sent by God because of the faith that some people had. Because they stepped out. They were able to exercise their faith. And they were saying that even if we don't have weapons, even if we are few, we are going to face this army. And I believe that God is going to do it for us. And because of that, there was great panic. Let us look at the next verse. Verse 16 says, Saul's, out, Saul's lookouts at Jibea in Benjamin so the army melting away in all directions and I think God opened his eyes God opened their eyes instead of just seeing an army they started seeing this army melting away who did this Praise the Lord. It was God who did it. And it was a response to the faith that was exercised by just two people. Praise, praise the Lord. Uh, there are things that you have been believing God for and you feel that they are not moving. My brother, my sister, exercise your faith 
Take a leap of faith. And you will not know what God will do. Heaven Heaven will respond. All you need to do is taking a step of faith. First hear from God. Praise the Lord. I believe Jonathan heard clearly from God. He responded to the word of God. I believe he sought God secretly. And I believe God gave him a revelation. God revealed to him. That now you can go. You can go. And face this army. Praise the Lord. So what happened? Saul's lookouts at Jebel and Benjamin saw the army melting away in all directions. Verse 17. Then Saul said to the men who were with him, Master the forces and see who has left. This was quite funny. Saul is so concerned about the number. Saul is so concerned about the number. He was so concerned with maintaining his army. Look at what he's telling uh, his people. Telling his men. See who is missing. So he was so much concerned with the number. He was busy counting his army. Meanwhile, the rest, I mean, meanwhile Jonathan was busy advancing his faith. King Saul was busy counting. Praise the Lord. We need a time in life when we just stop counting and just move in faith. Sometimes we sit again looking at our experiences look at what you have accomplished. By the it is good to do, to do that. Time ni, uh, actually we need to get to reach a point where we just move. King Saul was distracted by number. Like every minute count who is missing. Even after seeing that they, they were seeing armies melting away. He was, he was counting. Telling his men. Find out who is missing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, verse, uh, okay, verse state that verse, when they did, it was Jonathan and his armor bearer Bala who were not sani. there. Praise the Lord. And verse 13, I mean, sorry, 18. Saul said to Ahijah, Saul nagamba akiyanti, bring the ark of God. Letenu sanduko ya katonda. Bring the ark of God. Letenu sanduko ya katonda. At the time when they were supposed to go, after even seeing the armies melting, Saul is calling for the ark of God. Praise the Lord. I know all of us, I believe. There are times when we make Christ, what I call Christ's prayer. When we are supposed to act, by the way, all, all these are basically good. When Saul was supposed to pray, he was seated in the camp, counting his men. Praise the Lord. The time when he was supposed to pray, he was busy doing what? Counting his men. Praise the Lord. Now, the time when he was supposed to act, this is when he's calling for the ark of God. Praise, praise the Lord. Have you ever found yourself in such a circumstance? When you are supposed to be praying, you are not praying. When you are supposed to be acting, I don't want to say that that's when you are praying. All is good. Praise the Lord. So the time he was supposed to act, he calls for the ark of God. 
Praise the Lord. May God help us. May God help us. Even as we exercise our faith. Even as we stretch out our faith. We shall be led of him. We shall be guided by him. As we take as we take a step of faith. We shall be guided by him. Regardless of the situation. Even if it is so demoralizing, praise the Lord. Even amidst that, God is there. Praise the Lord. I love the determination of Jonathan. Saying, Let us go and show ourselves. To the Philistines. If they say, Bewagamba, stay there. We shall take our crown. But if they say, Come, we shall surely go. For we shall know that this is the sign that God has given them to us. This was just like the statement that those of Daniel, Shadrach, and Meshach made. When they were thrown into the furnace. That we know that our God is able to save us. That even if he does not, we are not ready to bow down to you. Jonathan was determined. They were ready to take, he was ready to take from ground. Whether they say, remain there. He was ready to face them. He was ready to fight. Whether they say, come. He was ready to move. Praise the Lord. May God help us to move in that direction. Even as other people are saying no. We are not, you, uh, even as they are telling you that you will not be able to win. You will not be able to succeed. Like I have said, only one word from God. I need approval from God alone. Not from non believers. Of course, when I say that I need only approval from God, this does not mean that we should not seek counsel from our leaders. Praise the Lord. We need to seek counsel. We need to seek counsel. Praise the Lord. May God help us exercise our faith. Regardless of the circumstance, even if the ground is shaking, God just desires that you have a, a, a glimpse of faith. A leap of faith. Praise the Lord. You just need to have a little faith. In that he is able to do. He is able to perform that miracle. Regardless of the number. I don't need a hundred with me. Even as non believers are boasting of their connections. Bear my son of the president. I'm uh, so and so. I need to boast in God. God is my father. He is able to do it. Praise the Lord. The other lesson is your faith will encourage others as you step out your faith. You realize that at a certain point Saul and his company were able to come to join them to Jonathan. Praise the Lord. They were able to come and join them. Even those who are defected by the there are some Hebrews who were fighting who are actually fighting for the Philistines. Praise the Lord. You continue reading the verses. You'll get it. They too came back and joined Jonathan. 
nebegatta ku yona sani praise the lord kama yebazibwe when you exercise your faith boteko kukiriza ko munkola others will be encouraged abala bajja kuzibwa mu amanyi others will be encouraged abala bajja kuzibwa mu amanyi you exercise the faith boteko kukiriza munkola and god did something mukama nawa ko chakola as you testify nga ojulira someone will be encouraged praise the lord kuzibwa mu amanyi mukama yebazibwe praise the lord mukama yebazibwe exercise your faith so that someone can be encouraged. Let us read 1 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 7. As, as we end. Chapter 3 verse 7. Oh. Verse 7 says, Therefore brothers, in all our distress, and, and persecution we were encouraged about you because of your faith praise the lord in our distress in our struggle we were encouraged because of your faith my brother my sister in your struggle as you are believing god and waiting upon the lord over that specific thing praise the lord may someone be encouraged because of the faith do you know that sometimes even as believers we confess negatively and in so doing the non believers are discouraged especially at, this, at a time like this this christmas season we give the same confession things are hard i don't know where i'm going to get money life is so hard praise the lord may god help us to uh, help us to confess positively even amidst the struggles that our neighbors will be encouraged they will see god in us and they will feed their lives to christ so jonathan's faith in god encouraged his father he came back encouraged others to believe in God and to trust in that God. May your faith in God help someone to trust in the Lord. As you confess positively, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let your faith encourage someone. As you exercise your faith, as you put your faith in action, let it encourage someone. Praise the Lord. By the way, Jonathan's faith was a faith of action. It was not just saying that I have faith. It was a faith of action. He took actions. The first action was to break, to leave the father's army. Nothing. Nafuma praise the lord mukama yebazwe the second action was when he was actually told by the uh, i mean actually the statements he made echokwiriye bigambi ayogera if they tell us to remain we shall go but to sigale if they tell us to go we shall go but to gamatu gene tunagenda praise the lord mukama yebazwe he was very very sensitive and very careful yali mukalatifu nyo eranga mwegereza was a faith of action okiriza kwe kwali kukiriza kwa bikora James chapter 2 verse 18 Yakobo 2:18 As we pray and end Ngatusaba era ngatumaliriza James chapter 2 verse 18 Yakobo 2:18 Was got it Naye omuntu aliyogera anti golina okukiriza nange nina ebikorwa ndaga okukiriza ko awatali bikorwa byo nange olwebikorwa olwebikorwa byange ndikulaga okukiriza kwange Faith without action is useless. So James chapter 2 verse 18 says, but someone will say, you have faith. I have deeds. Show me your faith without deeds and I will show you my faith by what I do. 
Praise the Lord. Kama Eva zwe. His faith was a faith of action. Okiza kwa kwali kukiriza kwa bikura. Taking a step every minute. Okotwale dala buli. Even if there was a cliff, ni wakuba to ali we he was not e, limited by that. Teramu Even Jesus. if the number was small, ni wakuba de omwozi kwali motono. by that. Teramu Jesus. Even if he had only one sword. Ni wali nga ine chitala chimu. But they had only one sword. Baina e chitala chimu. And the Bible says that that first slaughter Bible ya gama tichiso ichiso ichasoka they slaughtered many but uruta runene an area equivalent to what an acre of land mchitunu echenka na yika itaka praise the lord kama ya bazwe he took a step of faith ya twala edala eliyo kukiriza god help us kama atuyambe even if there are few days left na kwa dole we na kuntona isiga deyo and the year okumala ko mwaka exercise your faith take okukiriza kumukola on that god kiriza mukatondo i have told god nzingazi nyugide ne kama on you ntinze ne skeme kugwe you spoke to me about this wega nange kuchelo i had clearly nauli la bulunji and i wrote these plans down era nimpal nimpandi kabino and i took a decision netwala o tsala o started working upon this netani ko kola kuchinga and you brought me this far nonde tukutoka are you not so faithful ko twali mwese to bring this to accomplishment ah to kuleta ne chino ku komerero praise the lord kama ya bazwe i am determined ndimalili that even as i cross over to 2020 nebwe mbanga nsomo ko gena mu bili abili i'm going to exercise my faith nyera teko ku kiriza kwange mu nkola things i've written down ebintu impandi se wansi praise the lord have you started writing your plans for what are you kuandika ebintu byo yagalo ko i've started i've already written those plans down bameka abatani so kuandika ebintu ebyo how many of us have already done bameka amazo chikola personally i've written down my plans for 2020 ye amaze okuandika entekateka za bibi ya big things that i've written down e da oliwe bintu binene byawandise wansi i'm not looking at my income setunuli de nsimbi zemfuna my income may not be able to take me through the the, the month ezo zemfuna zizo utantu ale mwezi i'm not deterred by that na yate chinziza limited by that eyo de chinne mesa praise the lord mukama yabazwe Sometimes things can mean to be hard. This last month things were so hard. For me. My mother was very sick. Mama wange yali muradde. I had I, I received a baby. Nefu no mwana. My wife went through operations. Muchala wange na 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 mulongose bwa. I had obligations paying tuition for some students. Na ini na ate okusasulira abana abamu ebisale. And things were hard. How very hard. And sometimes when you listen to the voice of the enemy you can say mu ulize dobo zili omulabe oyinzo kufa and the enemy kept on telling saying omulabe nanga will you be able to complete the man oh no so okumala kuno omwezi guno every night i wake up to pray at around 4 but you don't tell kusuko kusaba kusawa 10 Praise the Lord. Kama yeva zwe. I make prophetic declarations. Natani ko kulangirira mu bunabbi. I'm working in progress. Ntinze ndi mulimu ogenda maso. Praise the Lord. Kama yeva zwe. So as I cross over to 2020. Nga nyingira bili abili. My plans are not based on my income. E bintu byange tibisigamizi ba. I refuse to do yange. that. Nagano kole echo. I'm going to make I've actually made crazy plans. Nsaze okola enteka tekeze chiralu. Million of shillings. Netaga ensimbi zo bwana. And I'm going to move by faith Ingeli jengendo kufuna mwe simbi ezo ni yengino chikolamu and I put it before the Lord. Era ne biteka maso ga mukama. Nitani ko saba. On 31st December. Asatu mu December. I will just go and present it to him. Jagena ngambi wa yili mukama. As we cross over to 2020. Ngatwiso moko gena mbili abili. Don't be limited by numbers. Told him several mwe. Don't be limited by Don't just look at your income. Tatunulira bya mfuna byo that you earn maybe 2 million. Jobo funo bukadde bubiri and you make your plan around you know no kore take a take as a once work can do is the lord come here as we i hope you have been blessed so we are to read do mukisa may god help us mukama atuyambe exercise our faith okuteka kiriza kwa fe munkola amen amen god bless us mukama atuomukisa yeah let's uh, let us let us pray father we thank you mukama tukwebaza 
for whatever you've spoken to.